Do you look online and everywhere you look, there's binoculars from everybody in every size and shape? You have no idea what binoculars are actually worth your hard-earned dollars. Watch this video and we'll sort all of that out. In my last video, we discussed all of the basics of binoculars for astronomy. What we didn't get into is recommendations for specific binoculars. So I've had a lot of requests for that, so here we go. To start off with, um, the thing I really want to hammer home is when you're doing astronomy binoculars, you really don't want to cheap out. If you do 30 to $50 binoculars, you're going to wind up with bad optics, bad collimation, and bad coatings, and an overall bad experience. If you've already got them, try and use them. When you're ready to move up to something a little better, you don't need to spend a thousand dollars on a set of binoculars. But spending a little bit more money will get you a whole lot more of everything, and you will be much happier. So when I started all this off, I started with a pair of really old Sears binoculars. They were zoom. They had the little lever where you push on it and it zoomed in and zoomed out. They were remarkably good for what they were, uh, especially for something that I was using strictly to find, am I where I'm supposed to be to find my astrophotography target? I graduated from that because I wanted something that gave me pinpoint stars and more contrast and, and just seemed to focus better. Um, so I stepped up uh, pretty rapidly. The first set that I'd like to recommend um, is kind of the baseline, the, the minimum I would recommend you start with. And realize that all these binoculars I'm going to talk about, if you can find them used, uh, will be a whole lot cheaper used. And that's not bad as long as you check them, make sure they're okay, make sure the collimation's good, they're not falling apart, nothing's broken, and so on. So the first pair are Orion Scenics, and they're about $99. Uh, they're 10 by 50s. They're really smooth. The, the ones that I've played with are really, every single one of them are nice and smooth. They've got pretty good collimation. Um, one of my gripes is they've only got 12 millimeter eye relief, which means you, you really got to bury the binoculars in your eyes uh, to see. You're just really pushing in on them. Um, it's not too bad if you don't wear glasses. If you wear glasses, they're not really going to get by. Uh, contacts are fine. Um, once you get past those, the next set up are the pair that I went to originally that I really like, and they are these Nikon Action EX 10x50s. They've got twist up eye cups. They are waterproof, fog proof. Uh, they're armored. They got really good rubber grippies on them. Um, they're smooth as glass. They give you pinpoint stars. The collimation is excellent. Uh, this is a pair of binoculars you can use day, night, and you will use them for the rest of your life. Um, there's no reason that, that you can't use these forever. They're uh, just amazing binoculars. I, I still got them. I, I still love them. Uh, and I, I probably will not ever get rid of them. They have pretty much been relegated to uh, daytime use now. Um, or I'll take them out and let somebody use them uh, when I'm using my main binoculars now. Uh, because I've got something a little better. And those are my Orion 9x63 Mini Giants. Now, these little guys are about $200, and I was really hesitant to get a pair of these. Um, they lack a few of the niceties, the little details of the Nikons. The, the eyepiece cups, for example, um, they just, they're not attached to each other or anything else. Um, the covers for the, the end are, are not attached to the strap like on the Nikon. Little things. Uh, they're also not fog proof or waterproof, which, okay. I kind of do wish they were fog proof because if I walk out in air conditioning, from air conditioning into the, the outside and it's very humid, they fog up and I gotta wait for them to equalize. 
the Nikons, I don't have that problem. And since most of my astronomy viewing is finding, uh, verifying targets for my astrophotography, um, I don't really uh, have to worry about getting really good views. Uh, what I'm worried about mostly is getting views. <laughs> so, uh, but once these acclimate, these provide better views. They, they're brighter. The 63 versus 50, I didn't think would be a whole lot of, of change for such a little aperture change, but they do make a good size difference. The 9 versus 10 magnification really is, is a wash. You, I really can't tell the difference. Um, the eye cups are not twist up. They're just a little rubber, but that's okay. Um, but they are absolutely worth the money. They're collimated really well. Um, they've also got 26 millimeter eye relief. So they're really easy and comfortable to use. Just smooth as glass. These are absolutely my favorite handheld astronomy binoculars. So the next set up that I'm going to recommend if you're doing uh, if you want something in the next size up would be something like a uh, 12 by 70 or 10 by 70. Uh, Orion makes a 10.5 by 70 Resolute, which are waterproof, fog proof, nitrogen purged, 23 millimeter eye relief. They're beautiful binoculars. They're smooth. They, they're pinpoint stars. The, they're just the uh, contrast in them is excellent. They're $400. And if you're doing a lot of, of viewing with binoculars, then $400, I can see. I don't do a whole lot of handheld binocular stuff, and the stuff that I do is fairly wide field, so my 9x63s are everything I'm going to need. But occasionally, it's nice to have something a little bigger, a little more magnification for quick views. Now, the Orion Resolutes I just recommended, they're... I want to say that they are tripod only. You know, you can put them on a tripod mount and put them up there. You can use them for quick views like I do with the next pair I'm going to talk about. The problem is that's a lot of money for something you're only going to look through for a very short period of time. So if you're going to get the Orion Resolute uh, 10.5 by 70s, I recommend you get the tripod mount with them and only use them on the tripod. However, if you want a really good bargain, and you want something a little bigger and a little more magnification to do quick views. These little guys are amazingly good for the amount of money. These are Zumel 12 by 70s and they feel pretty good in the hand. They're pretty smooth, but a little bit more tension than I would like, but they're, they're still pretty smooth and pretty good. Um, they're not as heavy as the Orion Resolutes, uh, so you can use them for a little while handheld, but they're just, they're too big, you know, to sit here like this for, you know, 15, 20 minutes looking at something. That's just, mm -mm, no, that, that's too big. But for quick views, they work. And what's amazing is these little guys are pretty dang good for 70 bucks. I just, I couldn't believe it. The, um... Eye relief is 19.6, so it's a little small, but the, but that's okay. They got nice rubber eye cups. Uh, the collimation was was really good. The contrast is good. The coatings seem nice. Are they as good as the the Nikon's or the Orion Mini Giants? No, but they're a whole lot of fun for seventy dollars. Um, and once again, I really wouldn't use these for more than you know a couple of minutes of quick looking. Uh, before you're, you get kind of tired. Um, and the, the problem is it, it's not whether you can hold them for that length of time. It's your arms start getting a little shaky when you're holding them up like this. And that little shake just destroys your vision. With the 9x63s, I really don't have that problem. Uh, and the smaller ones, I absolutely don't have that problem. So anyway, that's my quick list of binoculars that I would recommend. Um, and I'll put links to them down below. But uh, to go back over them real quick, for a small, cheap set to get you started, uh, the Orion Scenics 10x50s for $99 are hard to beat. Um, they're really nice. The um, Nikon Action Extreme 10x50s are extremely versatile, day, night, astronomy, whatever. Come in at $160, waterproof, fogproof, armored. They're, they're awesome binoculars. 
The Orion 9x63 Mini Giants are, in my opinion, the ultimate handheld uh, astronomy binoculars. The Orion Resolute 10.5x70s uh, for $400 are really good, but you, you need to put them on a mount. And the Zumel 12x70s for $70 bucks are uh, an amazing deal for something that you can handhold for short periods of time and have a whole lot of fun with. One problem with the Zumels uh, isn't really with the Zumels. It's with their lookalikes. There are several brands that look exactly like the Zumels. For example, Celestron makes a 15 by 70 in around the same price range, $90 or so. And I have had some horrible results with those. The collimation is just terrible. You hear me talking about that in my previous video. And uh, the pair I had was horrible. Several people I know that have bought them are horrible. So it's kind of funny for less money, the Zumels uh, pull out a much better pair of binoculars than the Celestrons. So be kind of careful with that. I'm, I like a lot of Celestron products, but their binoculars are, are, at least their less expensive ones, are not part of it. I hope this video has helped. Uh, I hope it gives you some good ideas. Uh, if you liked it, be sure and like it below. Be sure and subscribe to the channel and clear skies.